trying out every shade of Ilya's new lip crayon so that you don't have to. Ilya just came out with these and I've been so excited to try because they just look like really cute colored pencils. Not only is the box like a cute little crayon box, but you also have a built-in sharpener on the side. I wanted to try them out with you just to get like a real honest reaction. First up, we have Pink Door. These are supposed to be a lip liner and color all in one. I'm pretty shocked by how like hydrating this is since it looks pretty matte. I think that's really good. It's a little bit lighter than I typically do on my face, but the feel of this is really nice. Let me wipe all of this off so we have a clean base for the next one. This one seems like a little bit more my speed. This one is called Night Bloom. Oh yeah. I already really like how bright this one is. It's definitely a lot more pigmented than I thought it was gonna come out. Okay. Whoa, that is bright. I love it. This one immediately caught my eye from the box. This one is called Gala, Gala, however you want to say it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Still can't believe how hydrating this feels. I'll come out a lot more bold than I would think. Look really pretty. I feel like you definitely can wear these as just a standalone lip product, but I would love to see what this looks like with like a plumping gloss. Next up, this next shade is called Earthen. I think it's gonna be like a good neutral. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely a little darker. No, I don't usually reach for colors like this. I feel like someone with a different skin tone than me could definitely rock this shade. I love that they have options for kind of everyone in this box. I hate it. I feel a lot more autumn-y in this, if that makes sense. I get used to it. It's just probably not my favorite color of the bunch. My lips are gonna be so exfoliated after trying all of these on. I already know this one's gonna go crazy. This is called Case Study. I'm gonna have to line very, very carefully with this one because it seems really bright. Oh my god. It's stunning. Oh my gosh. It's like I like turned up the saturation on my phone. This is like the brightest red lip I've worn in a long time. The thing I typically don't like about a red lip is that it feels like chalky or almost like it's drying out your lip. Maybe I should introduce more red lips into my like makeup routines because this one's really fun. I love this. Okay, I got them off the best that I can, but the last one is called Pompas. It looks for what I most reach for whenever I want like a really good natural lip. A little deeper, not quite as pink. I feel like this could be good to mix with some of the other ones because it's a lot more neutral. Mix with Gala or Gala. My lips are getting so messy from all the stains being left on. I definitely am going to put one of these in my purse because being able to have just one product and not like a lip gloss, a chapstick, and a lip color is going to be very clutch. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think these might be the lip product of the summer. I'm going to have to test them out since they claim to be a long wear lipstick and liner, but initial impressions is at least a solid 9 out of 10. 